guys, Eric here at Red Rising TV. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready for fall. It's too stinking hot, super dry across a lot of the country, especially through the Midwest. We get asked all the time, guys, can y'all help us score whitetails, whether we're looking at trail camera pictures or if we're looking at them in the field. There's four things that I go by to help me score deer over the last 20 years. So we're gonna look through my crib here. The first thing I look at is mass. The easiest way on a whitetail to tell what kind of mass he has is a deer's eyes roughly, especially mature deer, is four to four and a half inches in circumference. If you look at the base of a deer's antler and you can tell it's way bigger than his eye, well, that's a telltale sign. That deer actually had a seven inch base. You got great mass. So let's run down here real quick. I've got four examples of that 150 to 180 range right here. It's 150 inch whitetail, dead on the nose, eight point. First thing you look at, got good mass as they go out on their beams. Typically they can carry really good in between the brow tine and two and the two to three but it typically goes down as they go out. That's the first thing I'm looking at. It's bigger than his circumference of eye, so he's got good mass. A deer's ear, the next thing that helps me a lot on tine length is roughly eight to eight and a half inches. If you were to take that ear and put it up next to the tines, you can easily see that those tines are longer than his ears. Got 10 inches there on both twos and threes. Great twos and threes. Good, good brow tines. The next thing I look at is beam length. If you look, those run not quite out to its nose, but they're still good solid 23, 24 inch type beams. And then you want to look at spread. If it's even with his ears, he's roughly 15 inches inside. This deer's a little wider, he's 15 and three quarters. Those are the four criteria. Score your whitetails, then set back down sometime and go back and just kind of look at them on the hoof and see how close you are, you'll be surprised. This deer here has got short tines. He's got mass, some spread. The tine length kills him getting him any past the mid 50s. This is a 160s type deer, upper 60s. Great frame, big long tines, good beams, good spread, and that's what helps get him there. Boomtown 10, 170 inch gross deer, nets boom and right at 176. Good mass, bigger than the circumference of his eye, carries it well all the way out. You look at tine length, long, twos, threes, great brows, long, four, super, that really helps him. Look at those beams come out plumb past his nose. It means he's got tremendous beam length, 26 type inch beams. You look at the spread, way wider his ears, 20 inch inside spread. That's why he scores big. 150, mid 50s, upper 60s, down to a boomer. And then they go on up um, all the way 170, 180, big brown trout. If you guys like brown, 60s, 70s, 60s. My biggest here, 190, typical 12, multiple times. Big mass, he has it all. So I hope this helps, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.